Salute to all my people. Y'all can like button if you haven't already. We're going to talk about Joe Rogan, um, but we also going to talk about Howard Stern. Now, Joe Rogan, a lot of you guys have been following the story with Joe Rogan. I just posted about this guy not too long ago. Um, you know, of course, many of his audience come over and, you know, they try to act as though, you know, things are taken out of context, so on and so forth. My only thing, as I said before, you know, the N-word don't have to be taken out of context. All you have to say is simply say the N-word. You don't have to say the hardy or and say it fully as a white man in America. You understand what you are doing, in my opinion. Um, so I stand by what I say and moving forward, I'm going to further tell you why I stand on what I say. Now, Joe Rogan had guests, you know, as there's more videos that start in service. And I'm sure the Joe Rogan fans, you know, they will continue to support him. Um, but my problem is people that look like me. People look like a lot of us that's viewing this content or a lot of you guys are viewing this content, you know, as a black person, you know, for you to side with Joe Rogan, I question you, you know, it's okay when things are taken out of context, you know, it's, it's, it's understandably so, you know, sometimes people say things and they didn't really mean it that way, but you may could have worded things a little different, you know, um, but when you show a history of continuing to say the same thing over and over, like you continue to use the N word. You know, as if you don't realize what you're saying, you don't realize you could have filtered it a little bit or you could have, you, like, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, I feel as though, you know, at that point in time, it has nothing to do with context. It more so has something to do with, you know, that's what you wanting to say. You know, it, it's becoming a choice in a way. You don't have to fully say the N word. You don't have to say in, you don't have to put the ER on the end to get your point across. You can simply say, you know, they don't have to say the N word. As you continuously hear him continue to say the N word, you kind of understand where he is at with it, in my opinion. But nevertheless, you don't have to take my word for it. Here is some more videos that's surfing about, surfacing about Joe Rogan as he forced his guest to say it and then laughed about it. You get what I'm saying? This is no longer context. This, this is a guy that literally forced this guy to say he actually said say it and then when the dude said it, he took off laughing he thought he thought the world of it yeah but the n-word you won't say it look look at you say it nick <laughs> say it nick. <laughs> oh hush up i hate blackface i just can't get this shit off <laughs> besides whoopie done wrote everything i'm gonna say here tonight so it's all right ain't that right you smelly nigga <laughs> I didn't write that. Well, you is a smelly nigga. <laughs> now, to my people, understand where a person is at with it. Understand, you know, when a person show you who they are, believe it. Now, Spotify is not something that I engage in. So, me, personally, I don't have to cancel Spotify. Um, they, st they stand with Joe Rogan, as they have said. You know, they said maybe he's wrong, but we stand with him. Of course, that's their $100 million man. That's their bread machine. Um, that's their breadwinner. And, you know, people want to side with their money. Not only that, you know, he's a part of... What they really want, uh, what they really want to be able to say, he said it, and he said it in a context form. In my opinion, it's a disgrace. Everybody that sat and watched that, you know, you you guys that love Joe Rogan, keep it saying this context. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, those that get it, get it. There's so many other ways you can paraphrase. There's so many other ways you can get your point across without being a blatant disrespect of a certain um certain race of people you know what i'm saying it's been many people that lost their life as they was you know um took them from their 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 husband took them from their mate took them from their children you know being you know hard or you know what i'm saying uh it's been a lot of things that happened to our ancestors under that word you know what i'm saying so for you guys to act as though it's always just nothing he didn't mean nothing by it as you've seen andrew yang came out and said it's no way he's racist he worked with black people Andrew Yang said, it's no way he's racist. He worked with black people. Is that not the number one way that you, you see so many people um, try to say that it's no way I'm racist? I got a lot of black friends and they always try to have a black buddy they can reference to. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, I like to say, you don't have to believe Joe Rogan is racist. Maybe he's not racist. I'm not putting it on his name, but that is a bad judgment to say that over and over again and have a long history of it. And for people to just overlook it, Spotify still stand beside him. As you see so many people get canceled, if they just utter anything towards the LGBT community, if they utter anything, they're canceled. They money out their pockets. This man can literally say the N word repeatedly, repeatedly force guests to say it. And at the end of the day, it's just, it's just context. Yeah, but the N-word, you won't say it. Look, look at you. Say it. Nigger. <laughs> say it. Nigger. <laughs> How on one side, when we're talking LGBT, they'll cancel you and get rid of your money. 
and on the other side of America say something that ancestors of ours, you know, people have lost their life while being called that name, so on and so forth. He can say it openly over and over again and force his guests to say it, and it's nothing. It's just context. To me, that's a disgrace, man. To me, uh, it, it's sad to see that people will accept anything, but more importantly, our people, you know, if you look at that and you accept that, um, and you side with that, you know, you have to look in the mirror and question yourself. Who truly are you as a man or a woman? You get what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. Nevertheless, to move on to Howard Stern, when you see a guy like Howard Stern, this guy had a, you know, a talk show for so long. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, not only that, you know, this is a guy that's well known and made a lot of money. You see, he can paint a black face and say the N word as well. You know what I'm saying? And then still continue to go on. That was a long time ago to see how far he was still able to go on and make all this money. And nobody canceled him. Nobody take him off of air. Nobody, you know, he's, he has, you know, been a staple in the industry, you know, for a very long time. You know, this this video surfaced a little while ago as Tariq Nasheed, you know, had put it out. But, you know, I feel like no time better than the present when you see what, what Joe Rogan have going on. Uh, let's not forget about Howard Stern as well. You know, these are guys that have made a lot of money. You know, Joe Rogan, a hundred million and Howard Stern ain't no telling how much. These are guys that have made a lot of money in that industry. And they had different things to say about, you know, our communities, but not only that, they have said things that is unacceptable, you know, for you to see Howard Stern paint a black face and say the N word, you know, uh, that's that's a disgrace, bro. That's that's things that we need to you know we need to talk about these people. For all y'all to always want to side with, as I said before in the previous content, the LGBT community always want to come out and bash anybody that goes against anything that's against uh you know what they believe or whatever the case may be. You know everybody have free will, but if you say if you say anything towards that direction, you can get canceled. They coming in packs and boatloads and bashing you and trying to, you know, write you off. But you see Joe Rogan, you see Howard Stern, you see all these different guys, and I don't see that same energy for these dudes as it's pertaining to our race, as it's pertaining to our people, as it's pertaining to our ancestors, so on and so forth. You get what I'm saying? So me, I stand by what I say. I stand on it. Um, You know, like I said, I don't have Spotify. I have no desire to listen to a Joe Rogan. Um, but if we're going to speak for what's right, you know, and what's wrong, there's no way you can listen to this over and over again. I just showed you guys two different extended clips. And now you can say they broke it down, chopped it down. However, no matter how you want to put it, the word is coming out of his mouth and it's unacceptable. He can simply say, you know, the N word, you know what I'm saying? But to spin it off of that as just yesterday or today, you know, you see even another clip where he's forcing his guests to see it and laugh about it. I guess that's context too. You get what I'm saying? One thing I'm seeming to learn uh, about Joe Rogan, he seems to always want to say this word in a context form. You get what I'm saying? So to me, it seems like he's deliberately going out his way just to be able to say it, but always try to format it in a way of a context so you guys can accept it, so you guys can stand with him and uh, continue to love what he do. Like I say, man, his audience is big. Y'all love it. Uh, me personally, I don't care for it and I stand on what I say. Nevertheless, for our people, we have to stand for something or fall for anything. For you guys to let this continue to rock. And you see some people now. I see many more people now coming down on Joe Rogan. But you see some people still side with it. You know what I'm saying? Those guys, to me, are people when you look in the mirror, they, you know, are just people that I would say, you know, understand the life, you stand for something or you fall for anything. To see Andrew Yang come back and say, there's no way he's racist, you know, because he worked with black people. What the hell they got to do with racism? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> At the end of the day, uh, you know, it's many people that work with you, Andrew Yang, that may not care for what you what you believe in or what you look like, so on and so forth. Never forget that. You know, just because you work with a person, that's called coexisting. That's called, you know, uh... I will work with you or I will, I will tolerate you by default. You get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, everybody has bills. Everybody has things they have to provide for. You working with a person has nothing to do with what you believe in or, or if you're racist or not. That's why you see Andrew Yang came out and later apologized. Nevertheless, to get to Howard Stern, followed by Joe Rogan, to me, both of these gentlemen show you know who they truly are in a way. You know what I'm saying? Howard Stern, under no circumstance should you have paint your face black and using the N-word continuously. And try to do it in a joke form. You know what I'm saying? And, and Joe Rogan, y'all understand where I'm at with that. Nevertheless, to my people stand for something, man. Understand the people that, um, you know, um, come to you in a smiley face, but at the same time, they have an agenda. And, or, or better yet, they'll say some things that they always feel and put it in the context form. You get what I'm saying? So to me, that's what I truly feel. Each one teach one as long as we have each other. We will continue to go together. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about, you know, first Joe Rogan. 
forcing his guests to use the N-word. Spin off of that to go into Howard Stern to see that he used the blackface and used the N-word as well. And these are the people that they put in front of us to accept and just simply say it was all out of context. Each one sees one as long as we have each other. We continue to grow together. Y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think. 100.